While we can't go back in time and undo what's been done, we can come together to make our community a safer place for our kids moving forward. The community asked and the school board listened. The Hayes Consolidated ISD Board of Trustees approved a new fleet of school buses fully equipped with seatbelts for every passenger. This follows a deadly crash involving one of its buses on March 22nd. We don't know if a seatbelt would have made a difference in this accident. Five-year-old Tom Green Elementary pre-K student Ulises Rodriguez Montoya died in the crash. The bus in which he was riding in that day was an older model without seat belts. In 2017, a state law took effect requiring school buses to have seat belts. So you can see in here, uh, they have the seat belts for the big kids. They, even the first couple of seats have seat belts oh, wow. for, uh, for infants. Tim Savoy is the communications director for Hay CISD. He says funding isn't an issue in this matter. Timeliness is. If we could go down to a dealership and buy some school buses tomorrow, we'd do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. It's just that when you order school buses, there aren't very many manufacturers across the country to, to get them from, and so it takes time. The new fleet of buses and upgrades to older models is expected to cost the district about half a million dollars. But Savoy says with bonds, grants and general growth of the town, the cost is not the problem. Studies show it takes about 12 months after a purchase to receive a new bus. Baby steps, yep. Meanwhile, some Hay CISD school bus drivers are raising their concerns to board members. So what is going to make them wear the seatbelts? Nicole Blakely and Caitlin Holden are district bus drivers. They say along with this approved plan, they want a disciplinary plan in place as well to make sure students actually wear their seatbelts. And while I have been driving all of those kids consistently for the last four years and they know me, they still aren't going to listen to me no matter what. If there's no policy that states that you need to wear them and there's no action against if you don't wear them, then all this money and time and effort and all of these community members that have come forth to speak, it will mean nothing. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.